is about controlling the lives and the bodies of the women of Texas. It's just so many rights taken away from women. Texans are reacting to Friday's Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Horrified. It wasn't surprise, it was absolute disappointment. Sunday, pro-choice activists gathered at Pan American Neighborhood Park. Some pushed back on potential stereotyping of those fighting. Young women, women who just want to live, you know, free lives and just have abortions on demand. And no, it's women like me, like so many of the people behind us who have children, who are aware that there are things that can go wrong in even the most wanted pregnancy that are life threatening. The crowd looking to gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke to help bring change to Texas. I think everyone should want change. I mean, from multiple levels, like our attorney general, our lieutenant governor, our governor. We need we need a lot of change. O'Rourke encouraging the crowd to do their part by voting and getting their friends and neighbors to vote too. We have got to stick together right now, and we've got to commit ourselves to the fight. Friday's ruling triggers a state law signed by Governor Greg Abbott that bans all abortions unless the woman's life is at risk. The governor released a statement after the ruling saying, in part, the U.S. Supreme Court correctly overturned Roe v. Wade and reinstated the right of states to protect innocent unborn children. Texas is a pro-life state, and we have taken significant action to protect the sanctity of life. Texas has also prioritized supporting women's health care and expectant mothers in need to give them the necessary resources so that they can choose life for their child. O'Rourke and others pushed back on that narrative Sunday. If this were about life, then gun violence would not be the leading cause of death for children and teenagers in the state of Texas. We are proud to be Texans, but not right now. And this was the third day in a row of protests across Austin since Friday's ruling. Reporting in East Austin, Carissa Lemko, Fox 7 Austin News.